welcome you to Central Moments today. We've been telling some great God with us stories. A lot of them have been from the Old Testament. But today we come to Jesus, whose name is Emmanuel, which is the embodiment of God with us. He has just risen from the dead. He's been with his 11 disciples, Judas, the 12th disciple who committed suicide after betraying Jesus. But in verse 16 of the last chapter of Matthew, Matthew 28, then the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. That would be like an average church service on a Sunday morning. Many people worshipping, but at times we come in with our doubts. They worshipped him, a few doubted, but then Jesus didn't let even their doubts stand in his way. He just simply declared in verse 18, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. We know that the day is coming when every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Why? Because all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to Jesus. He purchased that at the cross. And it was, it was verified through his resurrection. Now, he says, here's your assignment. Therefore, because of that, because authority has been given to me, go and make disciples of all nations. Literally, the Greek is, therefore, going, make disciples of every people group. This is our assignment. This is our mission assignment, that we're to be involved until Jesus comes again with taking his message to the world. He said, that means people are going to come to Christ through your evangelizing. And so he said, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And then mature them, teach them to obey everything I have commanded to you. This is what, what we know as the Great Commission. Hopefully it's not the Great Omission. This is the Great Commission. Go and make disciples of all nations. And then the Great I am with you promise. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Listen, when we're talking about reaching people who don't know Christ, when we're talking about missions, when uh, although people, some believers just sort of check out, they feel that doesn't relate to my life. Um, the, on the other hand, I just believe we're closer to the heart of God when we're talking about reaching lost people and talking about reaching the nations and making disciples for Christ, I just believe we're closer to the heart of God than ever. Because Jesus himself said, if you do that, I will be with you. In an unusual way, in a unique way. You partner in my mission and I will partner with you in a powerful way. In fact, the end of Mark 16, verse 20. Then the disciples went out and preached everywhere. And the Lord worked with them. He was with them. And he actually working with them as they go out to make disciples. And he confirmed his word by the signs that accompanied it. With miraculous confirmation, God was with them as they preached the gospel to all the nations. Right now, if you're a follower of Christ, um, it can't be okay with you or with me that there are 2.5 billion people in the world that have no realistic access to the gospel right now. Probably they will never meet a Christian their entire lives. They're living in parts of the world where they'll never see a church anywhere. They have really functionally no access to the gospel. And yet God is calling some of our best and brightest right now to take the gospel to them. And his promise was, I'll be with you. I know my wife and I, we're giving away part of our money to help keep people on the ground all over the world. We're given to missions here at Central Assembly to help give, give resource to people to take the gospel to the world. And we're praying and we just came back from a trip where uh, we're, we're with missionaries from very laboring in very difficult parts of the world. It's amazing. Their stories of how God is with us. We can finish this task of taking the gospel to all the nations. So Father, we thank you for this great God with us promise. So you're going to work with us. You're going to be with us. You're going to help us if we will put your priorities first. We commit ourselves to the reaching of those who are yet unreached with the gospel of Jesus. And we say thank you, Lord, for your mission that you are working with us in and helping us with. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. 